Hello folks, uh, just a quickie. Uh, this is a United Kingdom standard 13 amp plug. Now, it never ceases to amaze me that when I undo these, they're always loose. The screws are always loose in them. You know, the uh, manufacturers at the places, obviously, in the factories, and that's not compliant for a start because it's got solder on it. It's supposed to be crimped. Anyway, uh, never mind that, I only want the plug. Right, today folks, I'm going to give you a lesson in how to correctly wire up a 13 amp plug. This one's fitted with a 5 amp fuse because the, oper the apparatus it's going to be using requires it as a 5 amp fuse. Now, we first start off by preparing our plug which we've done now uh, where's my goddamn wire there it is now we start off we prepare our wire and what we do uh, we cut we, we uh, what we do we actually take our wire and we actually measure it we offer it up to, up to the pins of our plug and that is actually the right length for the live and what I always like to do folks I like to bend the wire over it gives it more I don't solder it because you're not supposed to now basically you insert the wire into the plug and we then take our twisting tool namely a flat bladed screwdriver in this case for this particular plug and we proceed to tighten the wires down now there's a right way and there's a wrong way of wiring up a 13 amp plug now the wrong way is to have the wires pushed in the put, put inserted into the prongs the wrong way now this looks like I'm doing it the wrong way I'm not you'll see and basically there we go now what we do now we bring the wire and we don't use any sharp tools to put the wire in position there's really no need you don't have to get a screwdriver look you don't have to get a screwdriver and gouge it down and press it in you don't have to do that if you know how to wire a plug up correctly and then what we do then we turn the cord grip I always, I always take one screw out the cord grip that way I don't lose the cord grip and what we do then we put the other screw into the cord grip like so you can use a Phillips or a flat bladed on these. I'm using a flat blade. You can use either, it's optional. It's entirely up to you because it's a Phillips or a flat head. And what I'll do, uh, we're not using the earth terminal on here. The green and yellow would normally go to the earth terminal. But what we're going to do, I'm going to screw that down. There we go. I'll just double check these. I know, I know the type, but I'll double check them. Yeah, but I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with the fact that. Uh, I'm not putting any extra tension on the wire. See, I have to actually have a gap. You can see that. I actually have a gap in between this this piece piece of the plug here, this part of the plug here, and the wire. And I have a gap a gap in between that part of the plug where the brown, which is alive in the UK, goes. I know in other countries it differs. But in the, in, the, in the United Kingdom, in Great Britain as it basically is, it's that way. It's brown and the neutral is blue. Now we're, we're actually tightening up the cord grip. I always do this with the top of the plug off. Now, that is what you call... A correctly wired 13 amp plug 
and we've got a 5 amp, as I say, I've got a 5 amp fuse in that and basically when you, when you put the top on your plug it should just drop on you shouldn't have to squeeze this or press it it should drop on nice just like that that's exactly and you, you've got no wires caught nothing pulling on anything everything's got a nice even gap and the top look at that folks the top just goes on like that now I do realise the need, I do realise nowadays that uh, the need to put a plug on is actually not as important as it once was. But there are occasions where, and like in this occasion, there are occasions where you will have to put a plug on. Because you might get something where somebody's cut the plug off. So you have to put a plug on. So I still think... I still think it's important, there we go, you don't over tighten the screw, you just want the screw, this main screw here, this main screw here, you just want it snug, see I'll undo that again because I'm not sure we got it the first time, I'll undo that again, get the screwdriver in, there we go, and that's, the top of the plug is now loose, and what I'll do now, I'll turn that, it's hard to do on camera, but I'll, tur I'll turn that, there we go, and we're just we're just snugged up. Now the plug doesn't the top of the plug doesn't move. There's no movement there. Now I'll just double check that the cord grip is tight, which it is on that one. And I'll now check the other one. You just you just want them snug. You don't want to sort of like swing on them. There's no need. You just need to be snug. And that. To all intents and purposes, and I know before anyone comments, I know I need a shave. Uh, to all intents and purposes, that is a perfectly wired 13 amp plug, but fitted with a 30. With, fitted, sorry, fitted with a 5 amp fuse, because this amplifier requires a 5 amp fuse. So you know, both these transformers are happy with a 5 amp fuse. So. You'd even get away with using a 3 amp fuse, but I've gone for a 5 amp because it's what was in the plug. But I do have all the various fuses needed. Should I decide that I want to use another fuse? And let's just turn this display so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. And that will go that that will go into a socket there, which is in the way of me, which is in front of my soldering iron, behind my soldering iron. So that's your lesson for you. To, that's for your, le your lesson for today, folks. How to correctly wire up a 13 amp plug. Uh, bye for watching, and more to come later. Or so should I say, thank you very much for watching, <laughs> and more to come later. And bye for now, folks. <laughs>